So guys, today I want to talk about what I did differently for step two. So the first obvious thing would be I took notes. I took tons and tons of notes. I don't know who said, why did I take all those notes? I think I started and it just happened and I took notes from the beginning of my prep to the end of my prep. So when I started preparing for step two, the information was coming out at me. It was it felt like a lot. And first aid for step one kind of gives you a book where you if you forget something that you maybe you've watched or something, you have a book that you can easily flip back to. And I didn't have that for step two. So it kind of felt weird that if I forgot something or there was something I think I needed to refresh, I would not start looking for the block where I did it. So that's what happened. I started taking notes and <laughs> guys, I have five notebooks for step two. I don't know what to do with. Yes, yeah, so that was the first thing. It helped me, it made me slow, but I think that um, if I was to take again, I think I would have taken notes just that I would have taken shorter notes this time around, right? It was not a theory exam, it's MCQ. So why did I take all those notes? Personality. <laughs> the second thing I did was I didn't use books this time around. I didn't use books, I didn't use videos. So I just used U World and Divine Intervention Podcast. Simplified my prep. So I just knew that I'm covering question bank and that's it. But the reason why I used the um, second question bank was simply because when the end of my prep came and I was torn between doing a second queue bank or reading my notes. So because notes are actually a form of passive re reading, you would not really know what you know and what you don't know. So I felt like, okay, since what the content of my notes is covered by this queue bank, I might as well do this queue bank so that I would um, be tested. So it was kind of like an active way for me to um, be tested on what I thought I knew. So do I recommend if you have the time? Yes. I mean, why not? The more questions, the better. So you're not missing out anything much if you're not doing a second queue bank. But then it's also not a minus. It could actually be a plus. So of course, if you are exploring that, I, I recommend if you have the time and the resources to do that. Otherwise, just um, focus on your one queue bank, master it and go into your exam. Okay. And then the third thing I did was I I did not leave anything for last minute. So that was one thing I did in step one. When I was doing my step one, I I was just what's the word? We'll do this one at the last week. In two months, we'll do this one. When it's close to the exam, we'll do this one. And and I realized that that was not the best because you don't know. <laughs> so when step one came the week before my exam, I felt sick. So all the things that I thought I would review at the end, I couldn't do them. The MBMEs I thought I would do at the end, I couldn't do them. So this time around, I started my MBMEs really early. Six weeks from my exam, I was already doing my MBMEs. I was not waiting for any two weeks before. I know this time around, I started doing my MBMEs. So every other week, I was doing an MBME. So I didn't want any last minute um, stuff because step one, I ended up just doing two. And <laughs> the first one I even did was September. And my exam was December. So in my whole dedicated phase, I did just one MBM just because I couldn't find the time. A lot of things were coming at me at the same time and then falling sick did not help. And then I had to prep for travel, wahala for visa and all of that. So and I said, you know, you know what this time, if I feel like I don't know this thing, I'm going to sit down here and know it. I'm not going to leave anything for last week. We will review all these ones. So now I didn't do that. Another thing I did was I did all the MBMs. <laughs> I did all. Guys, yeah, step two caused me so much anxiety because of um, the whole emphasis on step one is not pass or fail. So step two scored it and means this, that means that. Guys, I was just pressuring myself. I don't want to say for nothing, but I was just pressuring myself. So I just say, you know what? I'm going to give this thing my all. So if this means to you know this MBMs, and I think also people were saying things like MBME concepts are now covered more. I'm getting repeat MBME questions. And I remember that when I went for my step one, so people started to say that it was the end of my prep. But I just couldn't find the time to do any MBM. I tried. I tried, guys. But I remember when I was there to close it, I didn't even get to number 50. I tried. This time around, I said, you know what? I don't want to hear uh, people are saying uh, MBM is coming out. So let's just do it and be safe. So, yes, I did four MBMs this time around. Okay. And also, I didn't do a second pass on the world. So I didn't do a second pass, not because I don't recommend a second pass, but because I didn't find the time to. So looking back, what I should have done was just to have done my mixed or incorrect. At least those ones were fewer, maybe 800 or 8,000 questions as against resetting my world and trying to cram 4,000 questions in 30 days when I had other things to do. So I just um, left that. 